This is Jacob and Ronnie. If you you guys, it is what time is? I put my phone in my pocket. It is 6:23 in the morning. My sleep has not been the same since coming back from Europe. I have been waking up at the weirdest hours. I've been going to sleep at weird hours. And here I am, six o'clock in the morning, going to the grocery store because I'm craving a baked potato. Go figure. So the other day, I got up I can't even remember what time it was, but it was some odd hour in the morning and I did start sewing. So I was happy about that because I was able to get a few things done. So I have a couple things to share with you, which I'm excited about. So that's one good thing about me having my sleep times a little bit off is I'm able to get a little bit more done. But the downside is I've been really tired. So I don't know how long it's gonna take to get back on track, but hopefully everything will be figured out maybe in a couple more days. Cause this is not fun. But yeah, I'm about to go make some baked potatoes or I'm gonna put them in the crock pot. And that way it's six o'clock in the morning. So if they sit in the crock pot for like four hours or so, they'll be done maybe about 10. I should be hungry because that's probably like lunch in Europe <laughs> I'm guessing I don't even know but it's making sense to me right now and that's what I'm about to do so I may be eating a baked potato for breakfast <music> So the first garment that I have to share with you is a pattern that came out in 2022. This is McCall's 8216. I made view C and I purchased this gingham fabric from Hobby Lobby. This pattern is rated as easy. There are gathers that go around the neckline area and then there are gathers that go around the ruffle area that's added to the bottom. And the pattern also calls for bias tape which goes in the underarm area of the sleeves. And speaking of sleeves, what really drew me to the pattern are the fluttered sleeves. I really thought that these sleeves were so cute. And I did make an extra small. Now in the pattern, all the pieces were to be laid out in one piece and then you cut one piece and flip it over and cut the second piece. I didn't want to cut my pattern out that way because I didn't want a seam going down the front or going down the back of the dress. So what I did was I just traced the pattern and made one big piece of the front piece and one big piece of the back piece and then I just put the two pieces together after I cut out the fabric that way and that was how I got my gingham to not have any seams down the front or the back. I also had to purchase a little bit more fabric in order to cut everything out the way that I cut it out. The next garment that I have to share is Berta 6608 and this is view A. I purchased this green plush rib knit fabric from Joanne Fabrics and this is a really easy pattern. On the envelope it says super easy. There are only five pattern pieces. I only made two changes. I decided to lengthen this garment by 15 inches and then I also added some elastic in the sleeve area. 
The smallest size in this pattern is a 10 and that's what I made. Normally when I'm sewing, I usually sew a six or an eight or something in that area. But I figured that since this is like an outer garment, that the 10 would be okay. So I made these pants before. This is Simplicity 9754. These have a drop crotch. And the first time I made them, it was a test garment. I wanted to kind of see how the pants fit. I didn't put any pockets or anything. This time around, I decided to make the pants for real. So I did add front and back pockets. This is a pattern that came out in 2023. This pattern is rated as average. It does have a button fly. It has a drawstring that is inserted through the waist area and there is a gusset in the front area of the pants. I did decide to raise the dropped crotch area up because when I made the pants the first time, they were long and I realized that although the style is for it to be dropped crotch, I felt that I could stand to raise that area up just a little bit. So I took the front pattern piece, the back pattern piece, the side back pattern piece and the front pocket pattern piece. And I just folded out five eighths of an inch on the pattern pieces, pulled that up and pinned it down. And that was how I reduced the crotch. The other change that I made was to lengthen the pants by two inches. And there were two things I did not do. I did not add any carriers around the waist area of the pants. And I also did not add flaps to go over the back pockets. I used a pretty thick denim that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Look at my baked potato. I think I have, it says 46 more minutes and then I can check and see if it's done. Mm -hmm. 